Good news with the Russell 2000 index today, aka the small cap stocks. They went up 1.5%, and that was big after seeing a lot of red with this for a while. Because they're tied to the regional banks, like I've been saying, 15.9% of the Russell 2000 index is regional banks. And then a lot of the other companies in the index also have exposure to regional banks. That's why we need no more issues. Okay, we saw what happened with New York Community Bank. They're really struggling. The huge losses they reported after the assets they bought, obviously they're crap. And if other companies start showing the same thing, other regional banks, and that's going to be a problem. So it's something we need to monitor over the next couple of weeks. If no other banks show huge losses, then we could be in the clear for the Russell 2000 and the small caps to break out again. So right now, what we need to see on the charts, if you pull up the IWM index, that's the Russell 2000, right now it looks to be doing a W, which is a good start, but we need to see this clear $200 per share. It needs to close above that, okay? And then the next resistance level above that to be very bullish is $206 a share or $205.50 if you want to be exact, okay? So this would show strong or again, bullishness. And that would allow me to put a lot more money into these small cap AI stocks. And by then we may be closer to an interest rate cut, but we know that got pushed back, right? That's going to happen at the earliest now in May or June. So it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when it happens. And that's why some investors are already, like I said, dollar cost averaging, getting ready for that for when that does happen, because that will really benefit those interest rate sensitive stocks. Again, those small caps I've been talking about. Also, what was interesting today is the small caps, the Russell 2000 rallied, even though the 10 year treasury went up and the US dollar went up. Normally that would cause the small caps to fall, but they actually went up. So that's a good sign. Because if the treasury does fall like tomorrow or moving forward, once we see weaker data, like I said, in February for January, which I do expect weaker jobs, okay, because of the holiday and all that. Now they'll be letting go those workers. We're already seeing layoffs. But like I said, if it does decide to go down the 10-year treasury, that's only going to lift these small caps more. So we'll see. This could be the start where it gets to the next level. But like I said, we need to monitor it. We need to make sure clears those resistance levels. And I will keep you posted on when I start buying back in heavily into these AI small cap stocks.